what do you consider as making it in the music industry? I mean, this is a, this is a really good question and it's so subjective. It's so, everybody will interpret it very differently. For me, I interpret it as if you are working in the music industry, if you are working, if your job is in the music industry and you are doing whatever you're doing, whether it be live performance, whether it be engineering, whether it be, I don't know, music videos. If, if you want to be in the music industry, if you want to be working in the music industry and you want to make it in the music industry, if you are working in it and you are doing it and you are enjoying it, you have made it in the music industry. Believe me, I sit here and I am in this the most beautiful studio with the most beautiful console with everything that I want in the world, right? You know, a bar I want I want four APB sixteen uh, analog processing boxes, but I'm going to get those. I have everything that I want in here. Um, for me. I have made it in the music music industry. I made it in the music industry nine years ago. Now, this is, this is my interpretation of what I consider as making it in the music industry. I went from working in other people's studios, um, not really enjoying it. Um, it was all right. Wanting and longing for my own business. You know, I did 10 years of, of doing that sort of stuff. Um, then... I wanted, I wanted to be that guy who I was working for and doing little jobs for. I wanted to be him. In my eyes, he'd made it in the music industry. He'd made it because he had a studio, he had everything, and he was doing what he loved for himself every day. I wanted that. The day that I then turned that, into reality and started Audio Animals and started making a massive success of things, that day was, that's when I consider as made it in the music industry. That is when I made it in the music industry for me. Because I feel that anybody, no matter what level you're at, if you are working full time and it is your job, and it is your livelihood, and it is your living. You've made it. If you can, for for as long as you can keep that up, for as long as you can keep making money and working, whatever it is in the music industry, you have made it. Believe me, that's that's what that's my opinion on on that. That's how I feel. What making it in the music industry is. Um. Yeah, I, I, you know, I can, I can sit here feeling highly, highly blessed of where I am, and I know I am highly blessed. I'll never, never, ever, ever lose sight of that. Um, never. But some people, they, this wouldn't be this, for instance, if they wanted to be an audio engineer, for instance. This may not be what they consider as made it in the music industry. You know, some people have um, certain expectations of, of, or, or certain levels that they want to get to. Um, you know, uh, let's say one person, his, his idea of making it in the music industry is um, to sell, uh, I don't know, 10 million units. You know, that's what he considers as making it in the music industry. Um, or working with a certain artist, it's 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 so subjective as to what the person thinks making it in the music industry is. Um, you know, I I I live and work in in a kind of I, I'm in a bubble, right? For me personally, I'm I'm in this bubble that you know I don't I I interact with clients, I interact with certain people online, I interact with various people, but. You know, I don't, I'm just a guy, right, who, who loves what he does. 
I don't see myself as in any way different to anyone else who's at any any other stage in their in their music career. Um, I don't I don't I just don't see it. And I get people who who come like I'll speak to certain people or I'll meet people and people will come up to me and, and we'll talk about things and you know people say oh but it's like what I'm getting at is is they they think that they they use that word of like I oh, kind of famous right and I, won't, I I like I don't think it is is how other people perceive it and they they've like you know they they've watched me grow whatever um and how they perceive what what I'm doing um is is very different to how I perceive myself because I I kind of work in this bubble and I'm I'm in this bubble that that I don't I don't know technically how people outside of my bubble um perceive me um but yeah I do speak to people and and they they do you know they have like this um not that they've met someone famous but it's like They've so, so someone I guess that they respect their opinions and things like that. That's why I do these videos, um, and like that, that the little things like that. They they do make you just kind of. They do give you a little bit of a an insight into how other people perceive you, and people do perceive like myself as you've made it in the music industry. Like you, you, you're. I would. For some people, like I say, it's subjective. For some people, where I'm at is they made it in the music industry. You know, that's what they consider as made it in the music industry. Um, whereas myself, I would I would look at them and go, you've made it in the music industry. I think it's just generally how different people perceive certain things. Like, you know, I think personally, if you've if you're working day to day in the music game and you're enjoying yourself and you're loving what you do you've made it in the music industry and generally you've made it in life uh that's my opinion really so one thing i will say is is don't don't ever think don't ever look at look at like let's say for instance don't ever look at me and think oh i'm i'm failing because i'm not there yet and he's the same age as me. Like I'm 30, what am I, 36 next week. Um, don't like look at yourself and go, I'm 36 and I ain't got that studio. Or I ain't got that desk. I ain't got that mastering studio. I haven't got all those clients. Don't look at that. I don't think that's that's not a healthy way to do things. Because everybody, everybody progresses differently. For me personally, I think I'm well kind of younger than, than people who are where I'm at like I should I should be like in my I feel personally I should be in my 45 it late 40s early 40s like 40s I reckon about 40 something 45 I think where I'm at now I should be 45 or so I'm doing what I should where I should be at 10, 10 years early um it, when I when I look at uh the basic when I look at look at other engineers who are on my level or doing what I'm doing they're all well older like, but the difference is, is, you know, I've, I've got that connection with, with the younger generation as such. I, I know how the younger generation are. I know what, what they need. I know I, I can, I can deliver them a service that the older generation can't because they just, they're, they're, let's, I mean, some, some are quite dated and, um, they have a dated sound that would have passed 10 years ago would have been brilliant sound to have but now it's not it's not like that and uh you know that's that's why we're so you know that's why we're where we are and, and let's say made it in the music industry uh but yeah i mean that is that is basically my interpretation of what it is to have made it in the music industry um like i say it's subjective and it's it it's it's down to how you interpret it but my interpretation is if you are working in the music music industry you have made it in the music industry that's that's my my genuine opinion